afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz. Uh, we're here at Intelligent Concrete, and we have these questions that come up. Uh, this one, ding, is all about ASTMC 779. Um, and let me just crack open my ASTM to 779. Oh, that was pretty quick. Um, standard method for abrasion resistance of horizontal concrete surfaces. And there are three procedures within this 779. I prefer procedure C, and, and that's what we like to use. And basically what we've got is this concrete surface. We're putting a 22 Newton force over the head of a revolving drill at 1,000 RPM with a specially set up jig or at least spacer core that has a, a, a hollow section to it that allows water to pass through and allows this 22 Newton force to push down these eight steel balls going at a thousand RPM over this concrete surface. And you know, normally if you had to do a 12, or 12 inch by 12 inch by four inch thick slab, we've designed it in a way that you can actually core out samples and you know, do that in a, a specially designed jig. Uh, but what I like about it is it is an accelerated method that helps you understand how the concrete will respond to this uh, uh, abrasive force from these steel balls. And it's all based on that first line of defense, your, your cementitious coating. And then as we go through that, that sacrificial layer that eventually you're going to eat through, um, it, it's really dependent on not only the hardness of the aggregate, but the bond between the aggregate and the hydrated cement matrix. And if you had an aggregate that had a lot of dust on the, the surface, or it has a very absorbent um, surface and subsurface to it, that interfacial zone that gives you that chemical or mechanical interlocking or holding that aggregate in is going to be compromised. And if that's compromised, as those steel balls start rolling over that concrete, instead of you know, grinding down or work hardening that surface, almost polishing that rock into that concrete, they'll start tearing out those aggregates, creating these little you know, holes that basically the steel balls roll into, or you start seeing these singularities of stress developing for these abrasive forces, and, and you're basically chewing into your concrete even faster. So a lot of people say that, hey, if you add a little bit more cement or if you drive your water down, if you put an SCM, that'll help out of abrasive wear. Or if, let's say, you put in fibers or carbon nanotubes or anything else, it'll enhance your, your abrasive or uh, resiliency to abrasive wear. But it's more of a, a combination between the hydrated cement matrix, the aggregate, the granular skeleton, and how those two work together. And if you're not really balancing those three and focusing on all three of those, it doesn't matter how good your paste is, how strong your aggregate is, you're always going to have problems uh, with abrasive wear. And, you know, it, it manifests in the real world when you're driving on highways. You can actually see, you know, the ruts in the road where you got that tire traffic going down that concrete road. And you can see the tining on the old pavements that are out there on our state and federal highways. And then you can see exposed aggregate in that, um, the, those wheel wells. And when you start seeing that three quarter inch aggregate, I mean, that's where you've got up into like, you know, a quarter of an inch into your concrete slab, especially if you're starting to see like a three quarter inch size aggregate, it's not that big. If you see three quarter inch aggregate or a one inch aggregate, um, you're getting deeper into that concrete slab. So be aware of that. And in some municipalities, they actually will grind down the entire surface to get rid of those like wells that you see or those ruts. Um, and of course, you're just exacerbating the issue because now you're exposing that interfacial zone to not only the abrasive wear, but also wetting and drying cycles from snow and wind loads or snow and rain, but also for, from de-icing salts and brine. So, uh, yeah, interesting stuff. One of my favorite ASTMs out there. Um, and I guess we could show them some data. I have these charts set up that show you what it's like. And if memory serves me correctly, okay, so this is me trying to go from memory. And this is, we have your surface, which is that sacrificial layer. And you have a normally a high peak as you get through that. And then you start trying to climb through a peak plateau in your subsurface. And then you get into your surface or your body of your concrete. Uh, and ultimately, what we want to try to do is get to a plateau as soon as possible. And we're always going to have some type of a peak as we cut through the surface, 
but the sooner we can densify, lock in our aggregate, and the harder the aggregate we can use, the more of that work hardening and polishing that we're going to get. So thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you got something out of this. Let us know if you got any concrete questions, concrete concerns. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Dang that bell for notifications. Go concrete. Beautiful.